Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of U4 as the nation of Congo. We're just gonna see what we can do with our precious little uh, precious little nation. Hmm. Not the worst air. I'm, I'm gonna be fine with that. 431, that's okay. We're gonna be behind military technology, then for, that is unfortunate. Of course, we still feel rather behind in tech, given that we are not exactly doing well in terms of estates. I mean, we don't even know any of the estates. And the Renaissance is firing away in Europe, completely unknown to us. We're, gonna, we're just going to save up points now and, and money, and we're going to be start building marketplaces, temples, all the fun stuff. And we're also waiting for Katembe to. Be willing to be annexed. It's gonna take a few more years. And I believe our coalition is mostly gone. And Rwanda and Burundi are still in the coalition. Well, that might not actually be a bad idea now that I think about it. Because if uh, Lunda joins the coalition, I could fight them and take more territory over there. I think. We still have to cross through there, but... Uh, yeah. That depends, though. Can you fabricate a claim across the... You can! Excellent! And we've already done so. Well, then. Then we could technically go and grab a foothold up here. It's your war with Buganda. And Rwanda already. Ugandan conquest of Nkori. And you're allied to Inkori. Only. So let's see here. Who's winning? I think Rwanda is going to be in the uphill battle here. At war with Nkore, Burundi, Karagwe, and Buha. They're at war with everyone, but... Oh, you're the aggressor! Uganda is the aggressor. Okay, that's good. Um, from battles. Hey, you're actually winning. Hmm. Do we want to get involved here? You're in the coalition, so you can't separate peace no matter what. You're also in the coalition, and since you're both at war, you will not drop out no matter what I do. You're allied to Encore, and they can't really protect you. And of course, if I integrate those, I lose the claim. Cuba would not join, that's probably impossible. Well, actually, it's not impossible, but it's a distant war. And Corey would be called in, unfortunately, but that's okay. Hmm. Do I want to, though? Well, we have our subject states that they could do some damage. Needn't be just us. And we're not really afraid of too many coalitions up here. I mean, the next level, next step in, they're pretty much completely unknown. They don't have any aggressive expansion with us. My goodness, our ally has quite a bit of aggressive expansion. Um, I'm tempted to go for that. I mean, they're busy. We would have to cross, unfortunately, some jungle. But we can split our army up now. So, let's do that for now. Yeah, poor Rwanda. And the siege by Caragua. Embraced institutions. Ooh. Malindi! Hello! So you have institutions already, huh? 
Interesting. So feudalism is spreading this way. Let's see. Institutions. Feudalism is present. So, yeah. Feudalism is present up there. It might, might just spread to us eventually. If we got a province next to Malindi. Mombasa, you are allied to Kilwapa. And not exactly willing to become a subject state either. So, if we declare war on Buha, we will not have access through Rwanda. And I very much doubt that they're willing to give us access. But we could march through here. Which is probably what we have to do. So, let's shift our troops there. Occupied by Buha. Which is fine by us. So, you're fighting this war, now you're losing. How strong is uh, Buha? 8,000 men, 2 mercs. Not the strongest army. I'm impatient, I want to grow, so... Let's do so. Nkori doesn't, we don't really care about. Nkori is probably gonna die anyway. Um, or are they? Nkori... have a thousand troops. They are pretty much irrelevant. So let's fight. Yeah, there we go, start. And we're gonna set both of them as potential for friendlies. And I'm gonna wait just a few seconds to see if they want to come, no? They're not. If I go there, that'll unseat that province. So I'm gonna have to go there. And hope that the natives don't rise up. We have a pretty darn good general, though. There should be a stable government. Ah, oh, so either we lose 50 admin power. I'm gonna take the prestige hit. Prestige is a nice bonus. Nothing more, really. Not to me, anyway. Cuba, no. No friendships with you. Okay, we're getting through. I'm gonna march you even further. You don't have a siege pip, so... That's gonna be okay. Our statesman died. Sad. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I think at this point the better relations over time, dude, is probably gonna be a good investment. Yeah. Let's go with that. I mean, gonna burn aggressive expansion a little bit faster, which is very good for us. Here I'm gonna detach a siege. 4,000, uh, that's gonna be fine. That's Burundi. Burundi? You're in this war too, aren't you? Burundi. That's you. Yes, you're fighting Buganda and Rwanda. So, as soon as you arrive, come on. There you go. Oh, I can't go to there in this province. Can I ask for your military access? Would you grant me the access? You would not. Well, that's unfortunate. But I can move here at least. That's an actual fort. In the highlands. Ah, oh, good, he's fighting. Uh, well, he's our enemy. Can we actually join? Rwanda. Excellent. Let's go say hi. See if we can help. I don't know if we can. Probably not. Ah, never mind then. It looks like our other, the other guys are gonna do this war anyway. And that actually means we could probably 
Go and say hi up there. If he doesn't kill them, I will. Are you gonna march here? Uh, and comma. Yeah, that's fine. Excellent news. Now we're gonna get one subject maybe over there. I don't know. It depends on how aggressive we're gonna do this. How mean do we want to be? And more to the point, do we want to start try to save our admin points? Because, um, yeah, I actually don't know if I can core over here. Excellent. And the province taken. Uh, we probably want to send one regiment up there. Yes, I know we have too many diplomatic relations. That's good. I'm going to cancel that as soon as we arrive up there. Save us a few military points. can I do in this area? Burundi is allied to Nkore and Karagwe. Uh, the question now is, do you have claims anywhere? You do have claims here and on Burundi. What about you? Claims there and up here. Interesting. But not on Karagwe. That is unfortunate. Of course, you've claimed everything there. Excellent. They are part of the coalition, but they're also at war with one another. I mean, I might as well just push on until morning here. If I vassalize them, I get dragged into this war, I believe. Same thing with Ngori. So alternative is to basically let Uganda keep growing. Wouldn't be a terrible idea that either, actually. If they just eat the territory, that's okay. They aren't going to be that strong, and I don't think they're going to have any allies outside of the Victorian area. Area. And so yeah. So I'm sort of tempted to push. Though by the looks of it, Buganda is going to just eat everything alive here. So then it becomes a question, do I want to start war with them? With a larger power? Gazembe and Burundi both have forces up here. I ain't gonna help them. Yeah, yeah, too many military leaders. That is unfortunate, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep them at least until the end of this war. And this one war could actually settle the entire area. Depending on what I do. Okay, there goes Nkori. And they are a subject state, so... No, they are at war. They, they are the ones at war with uh, Buganda and uh, Rwanda. So if I were to... Piece them out for a vassalage. Which I could. Ok, 
Okay, let's say I made you a vassal. That would drag me into a war with Buganda. Obviously. Make quite a few nations upset. I'm gonna take all your money because I'm... I'm greedy. You have claims on Rwanda and Buganda, which I want you to keep. So that would... Uh, let's see now. Encore would be gone. Oh, it would not be gone. But I... Yeah, how would this work? I'm actually at war with uh, Burundi. Oh, Buha, I mean. So would that invalidate this war? Or would I be dragged into this on Ngore's side? I'm really uncertain what will happen here. I actually suspect I wouldn't be dragged in at all. Hmm. Okay, fine, let's try this. I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try to make him my subject state. That's gonna make some countries a bit uneasy. I'm gonna take all their money, because we can. And that's about it. And yeah, no, that's gonna push us over the limit of subject states, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Well, so be it. So now we are technically... Oh, we would have been at war with our friends over there, but we're not. Which is kind of odd. Wait, Karagwe. Oh, that's them. Oh, right. Ugh. Mixing up my African nations here. Yes, it's disloyal, disloyal estates, disloyal subject states. All fun things. Mm hmm. So, as soon as this falls, then things are going to be a bit interesting. And if he gets close to that, I might have to fight him. Which I could do. Claim there. That would drag in Burundi as a co-belligerent, but uh, they're at war with Rwanda. They might not even exist after this. So I'm gonna hold off for a little bit just to see what happens there. I'm just gonna see what happens here first. This is the most interesting one. There we go. Siege is over. I can't take your provinces. I can make you another subject state. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna make these two my subject states. I'm gonna force feed them the entire area to save us admin points. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Gonna be rebellious, but that's okay. Okay, and now... Now that's done. They are a subject state, they are disloyal, obviously, but that's okay. Kuo will join us. Excellent, why not? Buganda. You might as well co them. He has claims on both provinces. I am thinking... I'm gonna go for his claim on Nguda and give that to him and... feed their southern part here still. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. Oh, I forgot to call our allies. Whoops. Um, that's okay. They would still come. And that's fine. 
So now we are at war with Rwanda. Not with uh, Burundi, oddly enough. Would you offer us access? You would. Excellent. But first, of course, we have to kill the little fella up there. Our subject didn't come, did they? No, they didn't. In that case, just move close. If he takes and annexes this, and Corey is the main leader there, yeah, he won't actually do that. So that would be bad news for us, too. Um. Ask for military access. Excellent. March him through as fast as possible. See if we can do this before the fort falls. There we go, stack wipe. And you can sit there. And you go there. Oh dear, let's see. We occupied that province. Excellent. And triumph of the clergy. Um. I'd rather not the clergy tri triumph here. Uh, let's see. Stability cost modifier goes up. And they gain 10 influence, which is bad. Or reject it. That makes them disloyal, but they also kill their influence. And we lose stability. Hmm. Oh well. And that gives us an extra military attack. Yes, please. And thank you. That's going to be very useful. And killing our little friends up there. Which we're gonna try right now. And right, we do not need the military access here anymore. Let's save at least that point. And who do we have here? Kazenbe are also sieging this province, unfortunately. We're gonna have to challenge them in with a bit few numbers. But again, we're going to get the advantage because of the fort system. We wipe them out. Completely wipe them out. So, I guess we're going to move up here and just take the easy forts. I think he's going to siege down Uganda itself, by the looks of it. Hey, Caragua died. That is, of course, unfortunate. Or not, because now we can take that as well. Though you're at war with... Uh, the, yeah, that, actually, that's a separate war. It's still a separate war. Her <laughs> subject states. Interesting. I wonder how it's gonna, this is going to pan out. Because now our subjects hold these territories, and that's fine if they want to actually like take the territories. I'm fine with that. Oh, did you abandon the siege? That's not what I want you to do. At all. Yeah, Kuba, don't do that. Um, Friendlies can attach. You go there. You stay put. Our good leader is unfortunately in this. Yeah, okay, so I can't unassign him easily. Ah, yeah, well. I'll just have to suffer that a little bit too then. And our two allies are. Well, our subjects are kind of unruly. Unfortunate, but uh, yeah. They'll come around. And 
you need to move south. We can't stand there. Uh, oh, there we go. Darn it. Uh, like so. I'm trying to... 10% under all, under all risk, or... Yeah, that province already has a ton of autonomy. Yeah, fine. Be rebellious. That's fine. No friendlies attached to this one. Instead, move south to... I don't even know where. Yeah, south there and we'll split the armies and everything will be fine. Because we are suffering so much attrition now that it's becoming rather annoying. Yeah, yeah, extra. Extra trade power, I'll take that. You are at war with Buganda and Rwanda, which won't exist after this war. You have no troops. So I don't see why not. Oh, you had troops. Now I see why not. Let's see. Let's move you out and certainly the cavalry. Now the siege is done, but Rwanda is the war leader, so we have to wait for this fort to fall. It's going to take a while, but that's okay. It looks like we're going to sort this entire area out in one quick war. And I'm going to get two very large, very angry vessels. But I don't really... Yeah, that's a fine by me. They can survive, can't they? And of course, this is not part of this war, so... Yeah, and Kor is still will still be at war. Because I can't join his war. Which is kind of bad. Admin tech. Yes. Please and thank you. I can build temples. I'm not going to do that until I'm at peace. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can build a few. A few temples. If there are any good provinces. Which there... Well, there are a few areas. Where... Those two are worth it at least. Uh, ten. And that's okay. The rest, well, not really. Not much to be gained here. But uh, what else are we going to spend the money on? Are they cheaper than normal? Could have sworn temples cost 200. Yeah, well, we'll build a few of those. There you go. I spent some of our money. Uganda has accepted peace with Burundi. Oh! Did you drop out of the war? So it's only... Or with Uganda and Uganda because you're part of this conflict. And Burundi, because you're part of that conflict. Yes, excellent. How well do you like us? Not that well, but yeah, let's improve relations still. Yeah, you're kind of reacting to our aggressive expansion, which is <laughs> not surprising. Okay, we're sieging down the provinces, and we'll probably end wrap this war up next episode. It's time for a short break. So, thank you for watching.